So you're going to St. Martin and exploring the French side of the island. Want to know the highlights? Coming up. Where are we going next? Let's go. St. Martin is such a unique island with two countries controlling two different sides of the island. And today we're focusing on the French side of the island. Welcome back to The Traveling Cheesehead. My name is Michelle, and on this channel, we cover all things travel related. So don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell because I come out with new videos every single week and you don't want to miss a thing. All right, so today we are diving into the French side of St. Martin, and I'm going to highlight several of the things that I found really to enjoy on the French side. The first thing to know about the French side of St. Martin, it is much slower paced than the Dutch side. So if you're going there for a relaxing vacation and really want to unplug and get away from it all, the French side is probably a really good option for you because there's less tourists there, it is just quieter overall, and you can really enjoy the natural beauty of the island without all the distractions of the noise and craziness that happens on the Dutch side. So the beaches on the French side are really beautiful. And because that side of the island is a little slower and a little less touristy, you tend to have nicer beaches and the ability to really relax and enjoy. So there's three main ones that I would recommend going to and checking out. The first is Friars Bay. It was my favorite by far on the island. It's very quiet. It's in this cute little alcove, very family friendly. Um, and it just really offered a, a nice escape for the day calm waters and you can do some snorkeling up near the rocks as well. The next one that I thought was really neat was the Anse Marcel beach area. Now most of that is privately run by some of the resorts up there so make sure you check but you, there are some public areas of that beach as well and that is another area that is a lot quieter a little less touristy and because most of the beach area is private you have just a little sliver that you can use as the public but most people don't bother going there because they think it's all private and it's not they don't know that there's little sections of it that you can sit in that are public beach finally i recommend orient bay because orient bay area is a huge beach area very big bay and you can actually access Pinel island from orient bay there's a little ferry that goes across you could stay on that small island for the day as a day trip as well so you have a couple options up in the orient bay area what I also like about the Orient Bay area is because it is a really thriving community, there are lots of shops and restaurants as well as a ton of beach bars and things like that right along the bay. The unique thing about Orient Bay is there is the Orient Beach Club, which is the nudist colony or clothing optional area. So be aware of that. There, it's, uh, there's a sign. It's not like you're going to accidentally walk into that. There's a sign that clearly marks that you are entering the clothing optional area. So, and you'll know when you get there. Okay, so when you're getting into food on the French side, Grand Case is probably the most popular area uh, to the foodies on the island. It's where some of the more famous restaurants are. The more five-star Michelin star restaurants are up in Grand Case. But the other thing that's up in Grand Case are the Lolos. The Lolos are unique to the French side and to the Grand Case area. They are outdoor Caribbean grills and they are amazing food amazing quantity and the prices are super reasonable so if you're going to be over on the french side definitely check out the lolos up in grand case and if you're feeling like a really fancy dinner you have lots to choose from up there as well all right the other thing on the french side is margo margo is the capital of the french side of the island and so it's the main town there is a ton of shopping there. There's the Margo Market, which is probably the thing that is most famous over there. Every day of the week, there is a market. However, twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays is when they have their full market. So if you're gonna go head over to the Margo Market, those are the two days you wanna go. 
The other thing that I found that I loved in Margo is Serafina's French Bakery. They have an incredible selection of French, French Bakery. They even do French crepes. And the food is delicious, reasonably priced, and they have a wonderful atmosphere to sit out and enjoy that delicious food that you're having. If you're looking for a little adventure on the French side, there's two things I recommend. First of all, when you're in Margo, you can climb up to the top of Fort Louis and get a sweeping view of all of Margo. It's a great little exercise after you've eaten all that Serafina's Bakery. Go and climb the mountain up to the top where you can get some wonderful, wonderful views of the island and of Margo. The other little adventure is Pic Peredi, which has Lottery Farms. Lottery Farms is a privately owned entity where they have, you can buy a day pass, but they have ropes courses as well as zip lines that you can enjoy throughout the day. They also have pools and stuff like that, and I'll put all the information for them in the description below. Finally, from the Marigo ferry port, you can take a ferry over to St. Bart's and you can go and do a day trip to explore another island. The island of St. Bart's is in and of itself in another experience, but if you just want to get a taste of it and see if it's something you'd like to maybe plan a full trip to St. Bart's, doing a day trip over on the ferry from St. Martin is a great option to see if it's something you want to do in the future and make a full trip out of. French side of St. Martin has a ton to offer, but what I love about it most is that it offers you a really relaxing vacation because it is less touristy. You don't have as many of the cruise ship passengers coming over. The airport is over on the Dutch side as well. So it just tends to be more relaxing and more low key. So if you're looking for that type of, of vacation, then the French side is really going to be where you want to stay. They do have a lot of accommodations. There's a ton of Airbnbs over on that side, as well as some really great resorts. I'm going to put, some, put the links in the description below so you can check out the accommodations that might be right for you. Thank you for watching today. I want you to go and click on this video next so you can see all the great things to do on the island of St. Martin. I hope you subscribe, give me that thumbs up, and I'll catch you next time on the Traveling Cheesehead. Until then, travel safe. Where are we going next? Let's go.